I guess, yeah, that room was just fucking annoying to deal with. There's a turret, there's like an egg that spews out uh, worms, there's a cyber mothers, there's... Uh, then you run into this room and there's another turret, there's a camera, oh, it's just... It's just painful to deal with. Uh, but I wasted a bunch of anti-personnel rounds trying to kill that stupid uh, mini turret they had. Um, now I can go around and shoot that. I can hear the Saber Mother, uh, I haven't seen her yet. Now I see her. Two shots. Um, oh, she got portal batteries. Portal batteries for days, apparently. Uh, so, another turret. They have a lot of mini turrets, which are annoying to deal with because, um, they're very small, like their character model. It's like a little, like, two twigs, pretty much. That fire lasers, and it's annoying to try and kill. Um, can I hit that with my... Okay, I guess I just decided to shoot it instead. I swapped that type person around so I would do more damage. Cause I'm fairly sure they do more damage. Uh, then there's a cyber assassin. Um, finally find that. The health, uh station not a health station but okay so this is what I noticed that there are worms on the floor and I can actually carry the worms into the vials <laughs> I now have a reason to collect all these flasks before I was confused on like what the actual hell I'm supposed to do with them <laughs> now I can use them as a weapon um, I don't even have enough nanites to do a hack Hi there. please make your selection I don't think it would have been right by that. Oh, I guess I wasn't the right level. Then I was hacking level 6 or something. It must have been. Because <laughs> I just buy like two health packs straight up, so. Yeah. I really wish the uh, they would have like had more ammo in the, the turrets. She tires from uh, this, I uh, try to make this jump, uh, find that you cannot make that jump. They don't tell you explicitly that, hey, stop trying, you can't actually make this jump. We'll walk back, uh, through this area via that platform. Now everything gets a little dark, uh, and I don't mean like, <laughs> I don't mean thematically, I mean like, visually, it's very dark. There's a bunch of turrets, like that piece of shit, who just killed me. In one fucking hit. <laughs> Whoever designed that <laughs> was a real asshole. I don't mean to be mean, but you put a rocket turret in a small confined area right next to a ladder. <laughs> uh, that is so annoying to deal with that. You were like, oh, I'm gonna have this casual little trip up the. Well, shit, I'm dead. But there's a lot of things like that in this area. There's like little turrets. Uh, there's a machine gun turret. Uh, I'm getting kind of low on health. Um, something else is back there that, that I'm trying to hit. Don't seem to be having a very good time at it. Though. Oh, that's the egg. Okay. That would explain it. I was like, why am I shooting at something that I can't actually hit? The egg. Uh, can I hit it? I do shoot at it with my analog weapon. Um, so I guess somewhere along the line, I accidentally like change uh, it to do damage against humans. Um, so whenever I fire the weapon, it actually does self damage, which is annoying, for to say the least. Um, but for right now, it does damage against. Analids, which is nice. And now I'm, I'm a little confused on where to go. Um, 
because it's really dark in here. It was darker on my screen, or I think it might have been darker on my screen. I don't know. It's really hard to tell where I'm going in this little section. But I know that I haven't been here because those turrets aren't there. <laughs> this device will reverse the gravitronic generators in pod 2. This will prevent you from constantly disturbing the overloaded Mason acceleration coil coil there. Now get back to your task in ins insect insect. The ship must be cleared and my patience is dwindling. So yeah, um, it's really weird. Uh, we turn off the gravity in pod 2, uh, but I have no idea where that is or how that's going to affect me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would love to go into a no grav zone, but I, but I don't know what, what happens there. So, uh, did I just real? do I realize that I don't have any armor on anymore? Uh, let's hope so. Uh, nope, still haven't noticed. Let's see how long I don't notice that I don't have any armor on. This should be fun. So, for those wondering why my armor randomly fell off, uh, it's because that I don't have the correct strength without the brawn booster. And since the brawn booster just turned off, um, because it, it ran out of power, I now have no shield, or no, yeah, no armor. Uh, no plus 40 armor. Yeah, I was surprised that there was a fucking rocket there. <laughs> uh, so, hopefully I don't die too bad. I got the one of them. There's another turret, and for some reason I thought there was one more. Yep. <sighs> Turrets are so fucking annoying, man. I think I have another mid bay thing. Right? Yep. There we go. Now we have full health. Probably a waste to do it that here. Um, Simpson, Malone, Shandera, and Perez are dead. At least those are the ones we know for sure. Those bastards sabotaged the Mison acceleration coil. They blew out the entire driver core, six subdecks. From what I can tell, somebody tapped the frequency resonator to refract human sized movements. The overload of all those people moving around must have blown the resonator. We set up a magnetic shield and the ship's still functional. Barely. I've quarantined the entrance to pod 2. The secondary coil is right there and I don't know how thorough the son of a bitch who did this was. <laughs> and then the first few shots just didn't feel like connecting that day. Um... So annoying when that happens. A lot of the hitboxes and uh, things in this game, character models, just feel like sometimes they don't feel like working and it gets really annoying <laughs> after a while. Because you're like, I hit it, but the game didn't realize I hit it, so technically I didn't hit it. <laughs> Even though my character model says that I fucking hit it, or where I point the little uh, visor. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That's just one kind of small problem in this game that I don't like. And I just finished recharging all of that. I think that's uh, for the eggs with the flies. Um, so we researched that, found out that you can actually shoot them. We already know that. We've already tried. <laughs> I think we tried. Uh, pretty sure we've tried to kill them with uh, the egg or the bullets. Kill the flies with the bullets. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. Now I noticed that I don't have my armor. <laughs> that could actually have been horrifyingly terrible. Um, and I'm pretty sure we upgraded our assault rifle right there. Um, to max level, I think. And I think now I'm going to try and deal with that giant robot I can hear. Which I think he's upstairs. 
I can reverse the Gravitronic generator so we're effectively cut off from Pod 2. Wozchak's email said the only way to do that is by resetting the power grid from the access station in engine cell B. Of course, he didn't volunteer to do it himself. What a goddamn mess. There he is. Get fucked! <laughs> uh, where's his head? There it is. I don't know why I picked up those cells. They're kind of useless. I don't have an energy weapon to use them. Uh, probably should be saving right right now because I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> um, pretty sure we're up to the room where I, I die. There's one room that I die really, really fast in. Um, they don't really give you much of a warning. Here it is. Is it this room? No, no, it's later. This one is just annoying because there's a bunch of robots. Uh, there's giant mechs. And then after that, there's a torpedo puzzle that takes you forever to figure out. Um, yeah, so you just snipe off them with my uh, assault rifle. Sniping with an assault rifle, yep, that's the thing I do. The assault rifle is pretty much like an upgraded version of the pistol, really. It uses the same ammo. Um, and I think it does, I, I don't know about the, like, how much damage it does. That's one thing I'm not really sure which one would be better to have. Um, but it does take a while to get to this area, or to get uh, an assault rifle. Um. Yep, thank you, game. Two turds and, like, a robot that just pops out of his fucking container and attacks me. Um. I'm pretty sure those worms are on the top of this section. Um, there's the, another egg. Right, you're in some pretty decent progress. Are you always this slow? <sighs> after all this time, after everything I've helped you with, you're still giving me shit here, Shodan. Not a fan. Not a fan. <sighs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to kill these things with, uh, melee to save on ammo, but in order to do that, I get hit anyway for the most, for like, if I wanted to kill one of them, I get hit by it, regardless of how careful I am. Um, I think I try and do the, uh, the puzzle now. So, there are four torpedoes. Um, and your main objective is to get to the ladder that is on the, uh, the, technically the left side of where I'm standing. This section has a ladder that, as you can see on the floor, is broken. Um, and I guess this is the reason why we turn off the gravity, is to make them float. Um, we don't jump any different, which is kind of annoying. Um, we have, like, we're not affected by it, but everyone else, or everything it, we interact it with is uh, affected by it. So this is a really annoying area. The entire purpose, or the entire way to do this, is that you lift all of them up. Uh, you lift up one of them uh, by a single hit, and then you lift up the rest by uh, two uh, button presses. I had to look this up because it was confusing. Um, but I'll show you right now. You hit them all once. That raises them up one level. Then you hit them all again, except for the third one, and that raises them to the highest level they can. And then you have to jump onto this one, um, which again is very hard to do. You have to get this like right angle, uh, which is hard for hard to find. Uh, they're gonna clip my way up there by accident, but <laughs> that was a, that was some joy there. Don't worry, I wasn't glitching out. That leads to this section, and then you can walk across these two, and then jump to here. I'm pretty sure I die in the next couple of areas. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I die in the, not this room, but it's one of the upcoming rooms that I, I just get completely wrecked in. Um, Oh, and I'll get to that, get to why in, in a second. Um, but there's a bunch of shit in here. There's a rocket turret, there's another turret. Um, see, the thing that you're noticing, if you are noticing, that I'm using a lot of bullets, but I'm not getting like, any back in return. 
uh, which is my major issue with this game. Um, you sort of start running out of bullets very fast. Uh, to the extent where, like, wasting or hitting one or missing one bullet is completely wasting the bullet. And you've just, like, lost all your progress. <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes. I guess I could hack the security unit uh, and make the turrets my side for an extended period of time. Um, but I don't, which is stupid of me, I know. Sorry. Um, and there's more people. This is not the room where I died. That's next room. I think I get most people with that head. Um, it's the next room. So, what I didn't realize when walking into this room is that there's going to be gamma, there's radiation hazard. And if you notice, right there, I just got all of the radiation and died, like, almost instantaneously. <laughs> so I had to go back all the way back from the, 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 the chamber again, do the whole puzzle again, 